Will AI turn factory work into modern slavery? Why Combinator under heavy criticism? Cheaper alternative to Vision Pro could help popularize VR education. AI help pick the best career path and LinkedIn checks how AI changes the hiring process. AI helps people more than it replaces them. Is the end of the worst case scenarios? 21 year olds conquer the recruitment market with their startup valued at billions. Let's start another EdTech news. Have you seen the video showing a system that monitors factory workers, which caused such a wave of criticism? Startup Optify AI decided to show how, with AI and computer vision, you can track employees' performance, and immediately they got hit by a shower of words. They stopped them. Slavery. Dehumanizing. Today's subject. Slavery. Y Combinator, a well-known startup incubator, removed the controversial demo from one of its startups, Optify AI. The system is meant to identify employees who are not working efficiently enough and allows managers to react right away. Perhaps the topic would have gone unnoticed if it wasn't for the demo video which caused a wave of criticism on social media which comments that it's dystopian surveillance software and comparison to slavery. In response, Y Combinator removed posts related to this startup. AI-based technologies like this are more and more often used to monitor and optimize employee performance in various industries. They can help identify dangerous situations, improve safety and increase productivity, but their implementation raises concerns about privacy and the ethics of the control. However, the Optify AI demo raised controversy due to the way it presented the surveillance of factory workers. The video showed how the AI system monitors employees, representing them as anonymous numbers rather than names. Workers were rated based on their performance, which colors green for good and red for poor. In one scene of the startup's founders, Kushal Mohta acts as a supervisor who criticizes worker number 17 for low performance. Hey, number 17, what's going on, man? You're in red. I've been working all day. You're working all day? You haven't hit your hourly output even once today. And you're at 11.4% efficiency. This is really bad. It's just been a rough day. Rough day? More like a rough month. The video sparked a wave of criticism on social media with comparison to modern slavery. In response, Y Combinator removed related posts. People often say that any publicity is a good publicity, but I have a feeling that in this case, that's not what the creators expected. Now, we don't have to break the bank to enjoy a virtual reality like Apple Vision Pro. Asus Air Vision M1 are glasses you can connect to a laptop or console to display up to three virtual screens. This could be a great for anyone who wants to work or study anywhere, park or maybe even an airplane. Interestingly, they can also be educational tools. Instead of spreading out of hundreds of notes, students or trainees can work on extra screens displayed right before their eyes. Immersion and mobility in one. Is this the future of remote learning? We will see how the market receives the idea. Have you ever struggled to figure it out which career path truly matches your strong points? Google has a way to help. Their new tool, Career Dreamer, uses AI to analyze your interests, skills, and experience to suggest jobs that fit your profile. That's not all. If you remember the previous episode, we talked about how to improve your CV with a prompt. Career Dreamer can also suggest what to change in your cover letter or how to prepare for an interview. How does it work? First, the user starts by answering a few questions about their interests, education, skills and experience. Based on that, the tool suggests possible professions that may fit the user's profile. Secondly, preparing for a job interview. Career Dreamer can generate helpful text such as descriptions of experience, a cover letter or answers for a job interview. This makes it much easier to apply for positions. And third, collaboration with Gemini. The tool works together with the AI assistant Gemini, which helps create a CV, cover letter, and find new ideas for a career path. So what makes Career Dreamer different from other services? Unlike popular platforms like LinkedIn or Indeed, Career Dreamer does not connect users directly to job listings. So instead of focuses on helping people discover new career opportunities and make it easy to quickly understand what professions are available for a given person. 
So, who is it for? Career Dreamer was uh, developed for different groups of job seekers, including students, recent graduates, adult, learning new skills, and the military community. The tool is perfect for anyone who wants a career change or just wants to find out what's out there in a way that's personalized for them. For now, the solution is only available in the States, but if this experiment goes well, who knows, maybe we will be able to use it worldwide. According to the latest LinkedIn report from February this year, recruiters are more and more willing to use AI-powered tools to speed up the initial screening of candidates. This supposedly saves time and money, but not everyone is convinced it really leads to better quality employees. Using AI motivates recruiters to develop new skills and focus on those that matter most. The demand for recruiters with relation-building skills has risen, but get ready, 54 times compared to the previous year, which suggests that AI is taking over more tedious tasks while recruiters focus on strategic roles acting as career advisors. The growing focus on quality of hire, driven a slowdown in the job market, forces companies to prioritize long-term value over short-term efficiency. As many as 61% of recruitment professionals believe that AI can help measure quality of hire by analyzing candidates' skills and potential beyond traditional resumes and interviews. It's interesting, so contrary to what some may think, companies in the age of AI recruiting are focusing more on what's human, that is, soft skills and relationships. Another optimistic news suggests that in the race of people versus computers we'll still have something to say. Data does not confirm that predicted rapid jobs cuts due to AI. Employees use AI more often to support augment their skills 57% than to automate them 43% according to an analysis of over 4 million AI interactions by Anthropic. The report shows that IT and math workers, especially software engineers, are the main group of AI users at work. As much as 37 of all queries by Claude by Anthropic came from this profession. The most common tasks were software modifications, code fixing and solving network problems. If the trend continues where AI is used only for specific tasks and just a few positions use AI for most of their responsibilities, the future look like current jobs evolving rather than disappearing, Anthropic concludes. Anthropic's analysis comes with the launch of the Anthropic's Economic Index, an initiative aimed at understanding AI impact on labor markets and the economy over time. The first results may be reassuring for employees who fear being replaced by AI. The key is that AI is used heavily in only a small number of occupations. In just 4% of jobs, AI is used for at least 75% of tasks, and in slightly over one-third of jobs, AI is used for at least 25% of duties. The report points out that there is no evidence of complete automations of jobs. Instead, AI is spread out across many tasks in the economy, affecting some groups of tasks more than others. Similar conclusions were presented by Indeed last fall, starting that while generative AI can assist in various tasks, there are no skills where it is very likely to replace humans. Most AI users are people with average and higher salaries, such as programmers and copywriters. Both lower paid professions and very well paid ones have low rates on AI usage, especially those needing high manual skills like hairdressers or midwives. Even in case of intensive usage, AI supports workers' abilities helping with verification, learning, brainstorming and repetitive tasks. Antmorphix points out some limitations of the study, such as not being sure if users were truly using Claude for professional purposes and not as a hobby, and the possibility of further editing by users after receiving AI answers. Besides IT and math professionals, other top AI users include bioinformatic technicians, technical content creators, copywriters, tutors and archivists. So finally something about young visionaries who took Silicon Valley by storm. Mercur, a startup founded by three 21-year-olds, has just raised $100 million in Series B round, reaching a $2 billion valuation, eight times higher than in the previous round. 
What's their secret? Mercor uses AI to improve the recruitment process by automating CV screening, matching candidates, conducting interviews, and managing payroll. During a 20-minute initial interview with an AI chatbot, candidates are screened for suitable roles. They have gained support from major VC funds, and their clients include giants like OpenAI. Is this more proof that human work doesn't disappear, but rather becomes more specialized? It seems AI doesn't have to be the enemy of job seekers. It can even help find the perfect match. Thanks to a rapid rise in revenue which hit $75 million annual recurring revenue, the company shows a strong upward trend. Mercor CEO Brandon Foody insists that AI does not eliminate jobs but simply automates a large part of the economy, making workers even more valuable in areas where their presence is essential. Let us know in the comments what you think about the role of AI in recruitment, whether you trust performance monitoring or maybe you are waiting for your own VR glasses in your backpack. See you in the next episode and remember as always, keep educating yourself in technology.